Hello, KBUU FM listeners. My name is Scott Hosfeld, and I am thrilled to be hosting a world premiere radio broadcast of an exciting new musical work by our own longtime Malibu resident, composer, and violinist, Maria Newman. Newman's work, entitled Six Canzonettas, was conceived for the Malibu based quartet known as Voices and Violas. Martha and Isabella Thatcher voices, myself on viola, and Newman herself at the piano. Composed as Newman isolated these past years with our family, each song is set to poetry that paints vivid perspectives, striving to uplift the listener with hope and joy. Please join us this Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. on Radio Malibu, FM 99.1, KBUU. Welcome to the world premiere radio broadcast of a new work by Malibu resident composer Maria Newman, brought to you by KBUU Radio, the Malibu Friends of Music, and the Montgomery Arts House for Music and Architecture. I'm Scott Hosfeld, your host. Here briefly is an introduction to the work in the words of the composer. Six Canzonettas is a song cycle for two high voices, viola and piano. Each of the canzonettas is set to existing poetry dating from the Middle Ages through the 20th century. The instrumentation, though sonorously rich, was decided in part by resources available within our family due to the restrictions brought on by the pandemic. Making this music come alive with family was definitely a joy and inspiration. So here now, a brief introduction to each movement followed by the music. The Five Senses, with poetry by Louise Moss Montgomery, 1892 to 1978. She was the Poet Laureate of the state of Mississippi. The work centers around the uplifting of the natural world using a landscape of resonance and textural detail of flora and fauna, a celebration of the light of dawn, the unfurling of life, and the proverbial opening of this philosophical book of songs. Thank you. 
The second movement, there is the music of heaven, with words by Hildegard von Bingen, a medieval poet who lived from 1098 to 1179. This work exemplifies the fast-paced and chaotic nature of daily life, often a distraction to all of us. Throughout this spirited canzonetta, the treble voices sing in a clipped, pointillistic style before opening to a bold, broad lyricism proclaiming von Bingham's text until we sing. Just as the heavens open when clouds part, so the musical refrain of the voices lift and soar following the playful rigidity of the composition's opening. Only then do the three treble voices sing together as one as though memory has solidified. third movement, entitled Ballad and subtitled The Wind, was again inspired and set to a text by Louise Moss Montgomery. Throughout this canzonetta, the voices and instruments emulate the sounds, suspense, and passion of an approaching storm. Montgomery's poetry lends itself to a unique aspect of musical storytelling, striving to encompass both the fearful anticipation of waiting for a fierce storm itself to hit and the visceral experience of finding oneself in the midst of a frightening gale and soaking downpour. 
from the first whisper of wind to the ferocity of the storm's climax to a shared prayer as we wait for the torrent to pass.
The fourth movement is entitled The Woods. It's on a text by Henry Van Dyke, who lived from 1852 to 1933. The woods would be very silent if no birds sang there, except those that sing the best. Again, in the words of the composer, Henry Van Dyke's poem uplifts the need for all birds, or souls, to raise their voices in song, championing the notion that every voice is equally important regardless of individual talent or skill. As such, my canzonetta is replete with intentional cacophony and chaos, emulating the sounds of a densely populated wood in which all expression is raised in equal measure.
The fifth movement of this work is entitled The Theory of Art. Here again in the composer's own words. The Theory of Art is set to a marvelous text by living American poet Robin Richstone. The melding of this poem and music champions the importance of art, not as a balm or salve for the body, but as its own entity, valid simply in its own existence, outside the march of progress. Richstone's words uplift the process of creating for creation's sake, for inspiration's sake, and to have the opportunity to partner my music with such apt text is a wonderful thing. Art made for art's sake, tangible in its intangibility. The sixth and final movement of our song cycle, The Giant Knight, on a text of Louise Moss Montgomery. The giant knight pulled his great coat about him, turned down the light, and went to bed. As the final output of this sixth Canzonetta song cycle, this prayerful movement serves as the closing of our proverbial book a lucid end to a composition which strives to illuminate the simple joys, pleasures, and jewels of life. The listener can hear the giant's greatcoat being pulled across his gargantuan frame. As the five senses opened the cycle with illustrations of the approaching dawn, the giant night brings us to the comfort of the evening and the warmth of home.
We want to thank you for listening to this world premiere radio broadcast of Six Canzonettas by Malibu composer Maria Newman. With special thanks to all of our performers, Martha Thatcher, soprano, Isabella Thatcher, soprano, myself, Scott Hosfeld, playing viola, and Maria Newman as composer and pianist. Finally, just a special shout out to KBUU Radio for all that they do in our community. We are truly grateful. Thank you.